What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five more new city tweaks for iOS 9.3.3. And once again, these are not older tweaks that are from previous versions of iOS that have been updated or anything like that. Again, these are new tweaks that have been released for the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak recently. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first up, we have Iconizer. This one's available for $1.99 and it allows you to customize the icons on your home screen to a very high degree. This is just a really fun tweak. You could make some really cool, really goofy setups. And again, you could also make some really nice looking ones as well. So if you guys jump into settings on your device, you can just go ahead and find Iconizer in the settings panel and then open it up. And of course, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak. And then you have various different panels here. Let's just jump into icon and there's various things in here. So first, let's just start off with the animation. You can actually set your icon so they do an animation just on their own, uh, you know, when you're looking at your home screen. So let's just go ahead and check out bounce and I'll show you guys what I mean. We'll exit out here. As you can see right there, if we just stay on our home screen for a minute, there, the apps just kind of slowly bounce up and down. So that's just one of the things you could do with this tweak. So let's just jump in. There's also various other settings in here like flip vertical. Let's check that one out. So there you go. That's just, you know, adding some life to your home screen there. So just a nice touch there. So let's just jump back to settings here. All right, so let's just go back to none here. Uh, and you could also configure the animation duration as well. Let's go back here and there's tons of other settings. For example, we have opacity. This is basically the transparency of the icons. And as you can see right there, the icon, the preview icon in the settings app actually reflects what the icons will look like. So that's definitely a nice preview of what you're gonna be getting. Of course, you could just exit out and look as well. But as you can see right here, that's just nice. It just makes the wallpaper a little bit more visible because the icons are see-through. There's also size here. So I'll show you guys there. You can make the icons very large or childishly large, as I like to say. Uh, let's just turn those down a little bit. And then we have rotations. This is really crazy. You could actually adjust the rotation of the app. So you could really make some crazy looking setups as you guys can see right here. So let's just jump back to settings. We also have the position offset, which actually allows you to shift the position of the cluster of apps around your screen. So as you can see right here, we could shift them to different sides, etc. You could just configure that to your liking. There's also a randomized button, which essentially just puts all these settings to random modes so you could as you would imagine you get some really crazy looking setups when you do this but it's fun to do just to see what it'll look like and i don't know it's just a fun little entertaining thing for me to hit randomize and just see where things are at so really cool tweak you could also just hit reset which is really nice so if you're really sick of your current setup you could just hit reset and then boom everything goes back to default and as you can see right there it's all back to normal so that's a really nice feature to have there's also various other sections so we have icon image which allows you to customize the color border glow animation and there's tons and tons of panels and everything so it's a really in-depth tweak for customizing your icons and again, i'm not going to go into everything but there's certainly a lot in here but a really cool tweak you could just get some fun arrangements with it so definitely go check this one out iconizer one dollar 99 cents next up we have 3d no div this one's available for free and it's a very simple tweak it basically just removes the dividers when you 3d touch on an icon on your home screen so normally you know between the quick actions there's actually a divider there's just a little line this removes that and it just goes for a cleaner look in my opinion because you know when you you know, basically roll your finger down as you can see there it actually highlights the options so you know it, there's already that separation there and it just kind of makes things look a little bit cleaner very simple tweak but definitely a nice touch no options to configure for this one Next up, we have Big Shot JB. This one's available for free. And this is a really cool tweak. It allows you to take a screenshot of an entire application. So let's say I want to take a screenshot of my settings app, the whole thing. Basically, what this tweak will do is it's going to take a screenshot of everything. So everything when I scroll up and down, all of this will be captured within that screenshot. So this is useful, if, again, if you just want to see every single thing that's inside that application that's scrollable up and down. So after you install the tweak, just go ahead and open up Activator on your device and pick a gesture. I'm going to use a triple press of the home button, but you could pick anything. Then just go ahead and scroll down and find Capture Big Shot and go ahead and check it and click OK. And now you're done. So basically just jump into any app you want to take a full screenshot of. Again, I'm going to use the settings app and perform the gesture. I use a triple press of the home button. So as you can see right there, when I do that, it says Big Shot Saved. So now when I jump into the photos application, I'll just go to my most recent photo. And there you go, as you can see, it actually took a screenshot of the entire app. And I could zoom in like this. As you can see, it's very detailed. And again, it's the entire application. This is very useful if you're writing for a blog or something. And again, you want to essentially just capture an entire app so everybody could see every single detail of that application. So really neat tweak. Um, it's just something really useful to have in some circumstances. And once again, it's available for free. Next up, we have Siri Keep Listening. This is a very useful tweak. 
basically when you pull up Siri on your device by default and you start, you know, saying a sentence and if you pause in the middle of the sentence, after a certain amount of seconds, it's automatically going to, you know, decide that you're done and it'll compute your request without you finishing the sentence. And in some circumstances that's good if you know if you know what you wanted to say, but sometimes you want to pause and kind of think for a second. And this tweak essentially fixes that issue. So, I have the tweak installed over here on the device on the left and on the right, the tweak is not installed. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to show you guys the difference here. So, I'm going to pull up Siri and I'm going to ask a question and I'm going to stop mid-sentence. Siri, what's the And there you go. As you can see there, this iPhone will continue to listen and you know with a tweak and by default as you see there it automatically decides that I'm done and starts computing. So this is useful for again if you just like to stop and think for a second. And after all there's no functionality loss because with Siri you could always just go ahead and click down here on the wave and it'll automatically finish. So it's not like you need it to automatically decide when you're done. So if you guys like to take a long time with your Siri queries, definitely check this one out. Once again, Siri keep listening. And last but not least, we have Noti Copy. This one's available for free. This tweak allows you to copy notifications to your clipboard from the notification center or the lock screen. So and as you can see here in my notification center, I have a notification it's from test and it says hello very original combination there but basically we're just gonna go ahead and tap and hold on the notification as you can see it says copied to clipboard so now the message the content which is hello is now copied so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it into spotlight as a demonstration and as you can see right there boom it just says hello and it pastes just like that so very simple tweak uh, unfortunately I haven't been able to get this to work on the lock screen although as you saw there it does work inside notification center for me so I'll show you guys if I just t send myself another message here and then lock the device. I'll show you guys when it's on the lock screen and I tap and hold. As you can see, it doesn't seem to work, but I don't know. And again, in, in the notification center, it seems to work perfectly fine. So I think it does its job, in my opinion. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys found some good tweaks to install. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to City of Tweaks, iOS updates, you know, that kind of thing. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.